Hi everyone, good morning. For today's video, I'm gonna try out two lip glosses from Clinique. The first one is actually a Clinique X Kate Spade shade, which is their most popular shade, the Black Honey 01. It's a Black Honey Pop. I did not get their lip balm. I'm not really a fan of lip balm. But this lip gloss I'm really interested in. I love, love, love their packaging. I honestly want to get or collect everything. I just have to check first if they're really that good for me to buy more. This is the Clinique X Kate Spade packaging. It's really cute. At first, I wasn't really interested in it, but now that I'm so addicted to Clinique, I purchased it and I also bought another one, which I'm going to share with you real soon. No scent. Okay. My all-time favorite lip oil is actually the Hermes lip oil. This is not a lip oil. This is a lip gloss, but I'll compare it with Hermes. I just have to commend Clinique for making sure that all their products are new, their packaging or their products are not used or abused or opened. I have shared with you my story before about Hermes and when I unbox their products it's already opened I know because the opening is dirty or there's a spill from their nail polish and so it's a big turn off for me and also their lipstick the first time I used it it got broken it you know it got broken into half and so it's really important for me to know or for me to uh, make sure that all the products that I'm using are new and have they haven't touched it or used it. I also love that it doesn't have any scent, but it's an added factor when in fact Hermes has you know really nice scent that I really really love. But this one, you know, it's not really a big deal. The applicator is really good, but because it's not that thick or it doesn't capture the whole lips and it's too tall or it's too long at least for me or what i'm used to it tends to you know spread outside my mouth i cannot control what i'm gonna apply and it tends to go you know outside the lines of my lips that's something as well but not really a big issue you know but the applicator is really good it's very soft it's easy to maneuver it's just that i like it better if it's smaller or at least if it's thicker or it's chubbier next about its pigment one thing I notice whenever people apply their lip gloss, their Clinique lip gloss, is that it's patchy. The color isn't even. It doesn't really show everywhere. It doesn't have the same color. It's like there's a lip liner here and then there's a patchy color in the middle. And so it doesn't really look that, you know, that even. But then... It's a lip gloss, it's not a lip oil, so I guess I'm not used to having lip gloss anymore. So yeah, that's a that's a I think that's a difference, a major difference. But so far that's not something that you would notice from afar. It is something you would notice when you're near or when you're used to using lip oils. It feels really thick on the lips, like I know there's something on. I'm not sure, it looks promising because I can sense that I won't or it'll stop lip biting knowing that there's something thick on my lips, there's something nice on my lips, there's something pigmented on my lips, there's something juicy or something you know moisturizing on my lips. I would stop lip biting but so far like when I look at it, it's good. It's, it, it's giving that 2D, you know, 2D lip gloss. It's just that I just hate it that it's a bit patchy. Overall, it's good for its price. It's really good. I believe this is a bit more expensive compared to the regular lip glosses that they have. Regular lip gloss is 
the uh, one with Kate Spade is 1400 so it depends what you prefer but overall I really do love the packaging and so far I'm loving the texture and how it hydrated my lips and how it gives me that you know you're cool even you're at home vibe it's kind of strong for an at-home lip gloss you know it's very very pigmented so let's see I hope it will do its job and it will hydrate my lips for the day and for the coming hours hi everyone good afternoon yesterday try out natin yung mga benefit na eyebrow products but today I'm gonna try them out again but this time around, we're gonna use the same routine I did last. As you can see, ginawa ko na yung isang kilay ko on this right side again. Sabi ko yung left side dapat yung unahin ko, pero ginawa ko na naman yung right. And for the second time, napatunayan ko talaga na hindi ko talaga kakulay yung nakuha kong GWP from Benefit. At ayan, ang layo-layo niya dun sa buhok ko. Hindi siya ganun kabagay or parang nagmukha siyang... Basta may odd sa kanya. Hindi siya yung perfect color. Now, we're gonna do the same routine I did here. But, we're gonna start off with an IT Brow Power Liner. Which I really, really love. But, lately kasi, napapansin ko na pag pinagpapawisan ako, hindi siya, or nabubura na siya kaagad. Mauubos na siya. Kaya, parang mas hesitant akong gamitin siya. Kaya, I'm trying out the... Oops, why am I like this? Okay, I'm trying out the Benefit uh, Brow Liner. Also, you know what? Yung Benefit, ang hirap-hirap burahin nung kanyang mga mali. Ayan o, hindi ko pa siya nabubura. Kasi, um, wala akong wipe right now dito or makeup remover. So, hindi ko pa siya nabubura. So, mas mahirap siyang burahin kumpara sa it. So, I guess it's a good sign. Maybe another thing that I should work on if gusto ko talaga mag-benefit is to uh, find a shade that really matches my hair. Hindi yata talaga magkamukha yung brows ko. That's why it's so hard, you know, to make them look like they, they're the same. At konti na lang din kasi yung liner ko sa it. Kaya medyo hirap tayo for today's video. Hmm. Okay, next is the Chanel Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. Sinadya kong lighter yung color nung aking brow gel para naman mag-lighten up yung aking kilay. Next is yung ating brow setter from Benefit. Second time ko pa lang siyang gagamitin. Kahapon yung first time. I hope I'm doing this right. Nakakatawa kasi talagang nahuhug niya yung mga brow napapatigas niya yung brow nang walang pangangate walang irritation walang pamumuti naninigas oo, pero hindi siya nakaka-irritate, nakakalbo o ano pa man Papasunod niya yung kilay, oh.
Next, lagyan natin ng highlighter yung areas na saan nilagay yung brows using my very first chubby stick from Clinique and that is a chubby highlighter stick. Ngayon ko pa lang siya bubuksan. So, this is like a first impression with you guys. It's in the shade 01 Half Tea Highlight. Ang alam ko, wala nang stock to sa ibang stores. Kaya, limited lang yung kanyang stocks. Not sure if face out na siya. Okay, so, dapat lalagyan yung gilid ng brow dun sa mata o oh, diba pati yung kilay nilagyan natin ganun tayo kagaling dahil nga mataba siya ang hirap ng i-control pero dapat dito lang natin siya nilagay okay Next naman is yung Chubby Contour Stick by Clinique as well. The shade is Curvy Contour. Isa lang naman yung option natin here in the Philippines. Let's try it out. Highlighter. Next is Clinique's regular lip gloss in shade Strawberry Pop. Yesterday, pinakita ko sa inyo yung block, block, black honey na Kate Speed Edition. This one is the regular lip gloss. It's in Strawberry Pop. I love lip glosses or lip oils. But because of Clinique, I'm gonna try out a lip gloss again. Actually, I'm more of a lip oil lover, but... All for the love of Clinique. I'm going back to lip gloss again. Mm, I love it. Quick comments about the products. The Benefit Brow GWP did not work well with me because it's the same na no color. But definitely the brow setter is an A-OK -okay for me. The chubby sticks, the highlighter, yes, yes, yes. Look, it's like you're glowing from within. It won't blind you or your enemies, but it will definitely give you that glow that you're ready for the world. Also, the chubby sticks, look how snatched my face looks like. I mean, it gave me a shape, like a new shape, and it's not that dark compared to the Charlotte Tilbury light to medium uh, coverage. This is the lightest, I guess, uh, contour stick that uh, Clinique has. I'm not sure, but this is the only shade that they have. So, I love it. I love how it looks really good and snatched and matte. I'm hoping that it won't cost me acne, but so far, it's very, very lightweight and very promising. I hope Clinique won't discontinue it. And lastly is the lip gloss. I love that it's more pigmented than the Black Honey. The color is more scattered compared to the Black Honey. All the shades are there. It doesn't, you know, there's no 
patchy areas like what other lip glosses tend to have like here on this side it's all filled up with colors compared to black honey i think in terms of shade i would love this but i would still recognize that black honey is still very unique and you know very bold as a shade but definitely for all clinique makeups yes 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 and i'm so happy i'll see you next time bye